Hello, just got a bit distracted there. Welcome to very special day here at uh, the European League of Self Playing Snooker. It's the final two frames that will determine who is the best snooker player of the elite of the elite. We've been playing for many weeks. Um, I guess it's 14 weeks. This is the 14th week of play, but uh, it's been going on longer than that. It's been a few holiday weeks. And um, yeah, we're down to a very exciting denouement. Uh, I should say that unfortunately, uh, Mohammed Hussain Tantawi's family got in touch to say uh, they did not want the arena named after them. I thought it would be nice to name it after Roger Hunt because I've heard a lot of people saying that Me One is, is a real Roger Hunt figure. Is that his name? Um, but um, he died yesterday. So uh, I'm very honoured actually to say, and I hope this doesn't cause an international incident, uh, that the arena will be named after Princess Lala Malika of Morocco, who uh, sadly died today at the age of 88, a royal from the royal Moroccan family. And I know the Moroccans, uh, there's a lot of Moroccan viewers. I hope that I haven't broken the news to them. I hope they'd heard already. I'm sure they did. Uh, and uh, it seems fitting to have a princess. She was a candle in the wind. Uh, I think she was also one of Doctor Who's assistants, wasn't she? think so um thanks to everyone who's subscribing bright fire seven subscribing with prime don't forget you can do that if not for me then for somebody uh here at uh the camera's moved over a bit and we're getting a slightly different view of the room here but you know that's all right i could move it more like over here how's that you can see that you could see a bit of the of the the base of the other camera that seems wrong um and yeah, very exciting day. Hopefully, I uh, haven't heard from Ian Jurex or anyone at Jurex. Been tweeting a lot, but I'm assuming Ian Jurex will turn up during proceedings to present the two one million pound checks. Uh, one to the winner of the competition, of course, and also one to the highest break, who is currently me thirty one, which would be ironic if he won because he's uh, the, the bottom of the table. I believe. Let's have a look at the. At the league table as it stands. Um, don't be a dom dom, dom dom, wear a condom, a Jurex one. There he is, Sam Beckett me. He's played seven, he's won one, lost six, minus 83. There's no hope for him to get off the bottom there, but he could still win a million pounds, even as he's relegated. Um, but the, who we have playing today, me three versus me seven. Very exciting frame, could determine... You know, um, who comes in fourth, third and fourth, maybe even first. If Gamey wins that frame by 30 or 40 points, we have we have a tournament on our hands. Because then Me Too will be playing Me 11. And of course, if Me 11 can beat Me Too, that means Me 1 or Me 3 could potentially get through. Uh, all the others are out of contention. Will female me do a favour to me one, the normal man, one of the most sexist players that we probably have here, me too, uh, who the whole me too movement was, of course, named after. The, uh, so, or will she do a favour to me three gay me, who I know is a lot of the fans' favourites here. Um, so it's very exciting. You may say, well, me too's got this in the bag, in the old snooker bag. But I say, let's wait and see what happens. Let's see whose name is on that check. And let's, I just hope Jurex do not let us down the many, many fans. I mean, there's 118 people watching this right now. And we haven't even started yet. So um, let's meet. Well, you know, one of these could be the champion. Me three is really the only one with a realistic chance. I think me one, me two. Me too would have to lose by a lot of points against me eleven to to put me one at the top of this table. If we're going to be realistic, uh, it would be a defeat of unbelievable magnitude. Uh, and as long as me three can win, he is certainly in uh, first or second place, I believe, without looking at the table because it's gone. Um, so let's talk to. Let's get straight on. No messing around. And hopefully, uh, it, I'll go and let Ian Jurex in if he arrives. Let, which is a good uh, thing. Let Ian Jurex, let, let a Jurex in. He won't um, make a mess in you. 
in your vestibule. Let Ian Jurex in. Let Jurex in. It won't make a mess in your vestibule unless you don't like the smell of rubber, in which case, or or, or uh, sperm, and unless you find or allergic to it, or if you find sperm side unpleasant. Let Jurex in to your vagina or anus or mouth, any vestibule, or just have a wank in it. The spunk won't go on your tummy. That's my... I think that's the ultimate. I don't think we can beat that. So if they don't want to pay £2 million for that, then I don't know what they will pay £2 million for. Uh, yes, I did... Uh, Andy McLeach, I did make an Ian Durex. And uh, he said Ian Durex and the cockheads. I made an Ian Durex. Uh, hit me with your snooker stick, was what I said on Twitter just before the... They don't come here nicking my Ian Durex jokes. And Ian Durex, Ian Jury jokes. Andy McLeach. Makes me sick. It makes me sick to the stomach. Um, thank you for all your thank you for your service, though. We should we will get everyone out. Uh, all the ball bags. Hello, ball bags. We will get them all out on their doorsteps, rattling pans for you, uh, Andy McH for all the work you have done. However incompetently, you at least have done it. Um, let's meet me three, gay three, gay me. The only he's just sitting down now. The only me dressed up for the occasion, I see, which is nice. Um, the only me who can knock me too off his perch, realistically. Uh, but how's he going to knock him off? That's the question. How are you doing, me three? Don't just come straight. I mean, was that a homophobic? You're gonna what? I'm going to knock him off with my cock. All of the me's have cocks. All of the me's have at least one ball, apart from um, me eleven. Sorry, no offense. Uh, and. Um, you know, they all use their, their genitals for sexual purposes, like, I assume. So, um, you know, don't... It's the 21st century, I think. I believe it is the 21st century. Uh, the fly who was in Twitch of Fun is back in the room. Not dead yet. Well done to that fly, unless it's bred and this is its child. Um, and may, may disturb... Hopefully it doesn't land on the camera. At a crucial point... Um, do you think you can do it, me three? Realistically, do you think you've got a chance? There's a chance, Richard. Um, look, I'm not. I'm. Not, I am a realistic person. Um, I know myself. I know how good I am at snooker. I know what my preferences are. Um, I think I can take me seven. I could take him right up the ass and really bend him over that table and really Roger the points out, out and get a, a win of thirty or forty. No problem. Then it's up to me, 11, to do the rest. Um, and, you know, I, in a way, me and me, me and me 11 have a, a lot in common. We both prefer the guys. I think she does. Anyway, I don't know. I haven't asked her. Um, we both have to put up with a lot of uh, phobia, sex, uh, inappropriate comments. So, yeah, no, I think I can do it, and I'm going to do it. And this is for all the, the L, B, G, T, Q, Y, Z, all the people out there, plus, all the plus people out there. We're, I'm gonna, and the women, all the women uh, equally should be in that group. What, W's. Um, it really, everyone's in there, aren't they, if we're honest? It's for all of you, and I'm going to win it. So good luck to me, and I hope I win. Well, strong words there for a me three. Can me seven? He's come over from the Emerald Isle for the last time. I don't know if he drove, how where he got his petrol from, and how he drove over the sea. Oh, probably on a ferry. Um, let's see how he's doing. How are you doing, me seven? Well, to be sure, Richard, I am here. I came on an aeroplane. I believe they had plenty of petrol for the aeroplane. I uh, don't think they get that from BP uh, or whatever we have in Ireland. Whatever uh, garages we have in Ireland, I should know. But, uh, hey, look, I'm here to try and come third or fourth in the table. I believe that's the best I can do. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can come second. I can't remember. But I, for all the Irish people out there, all the gay Irish people as well, if there are some of those in Ireland. Uh, and... Uh, and all the heterosexual, I'm not prejudiced in any way. All the LGBTQ, XYZ, plus, 
W's, all of them, I will win it. But only if they're Irish or have an Irish grandparent of some kind. It's, it's the same rules as the passport. That's that's what I... They have to have a grandparent born in Ireland. And then... And it's fine, to be sure. To be sure. Um, you've sort of changed personality quite a lot over this tournament. Well, Richard, I've learnt a lot about myself. Being taken part in this European Super League of Self-Playing Snooker, thanks to Durex. Uh, we, in Ireland, we do not really appreciate uh, much of what you're doing in your work. But um, thanks for supporting this. Yes, I've learnt a lot about myself, Richard. And I've learnt that my voice comes out better if I talk very quietly. And then I, then I sound quite like the person from where I'm from. So, you know. Look, it's a shame, Richard, that I uh, I can't be winning, to be sure, the whole tournament. But I've won tournaments before, I think, or I've done pretty well in them anyway. And uh, let one of the others have it. Let me too have a turn. He's never done very well in the tournament, so good luck to him too. Well, that's very noble of you. Shall we just get on with it? We've done everything we need to do. We're here in the Princess Lala Malika of Morocco. I hope that's all fitted on to the scoreboard. Andy McH, or you're fired. Um... Let's hand over to commentator one, commentator two, and see if the everything's working there. Hello, Richard. Here we are. Oh, look at that. The Princess Lala Malika of Morocco Arena. Fantastic work from Andy McH. He's unfairly uh, put down, I think, by Richard Herring in many ways. And, um, you know, he does, all, he does all right. He does a difficult job adequately. Uh, I'm joined by commentator two. How are you doing, commentator two? Yeah, I'm fine. Looking forward to finding out who's won. Well, not really. It's me too. Is almost certainly won, isn't he? And uh, also, it's just the same bloke. It's the same bloke. All of them are the same bloke. So it doesn't really matter. Well, I think Richard neglected to do the the toss of cocky carrot, carrot's eye. Um, oh, there it is. I'm just looking for one on the desk here. Let's ask uh, Irish me. He's just in the commentary box with me now. Do you think it'll be eye up or eye down? Oh, to be sure. I think it'll be. I think it'll be eye up. It's eye down, unfortunately. Uh, so, me three, do you want to go first or second? Um, I'll go second, please. So, me seven to break. The cursed position. Oh, just tripped over the... One of them just tripped over the green screen. Here's me seven. He's gone in off. Oh, and he's potted a red. Unlucky. Uh, his flies are coming down as well. So, he sorted that out. So, unlucky for me seven. He's given four points away immediately to... Uh, me three, who needs the points. He'll be delighted about that. He needs to win and he needs the points. One red down, he'll be disappointed about that. Oh, and he seemed to take an age over that shot. And believe me, me seven will not be giving me three an easy ride here. Here he comes. Look at that, straight in. And could it, and remember, these players are playing for a million pounds for the best break. And me seven looks like he might be on for it. Look at that beautifully positioned. Well, he got the ball up the right end of the table. Um, don't think he can actually get any of these in. But I may be wrong. Oh, he did very well there. Four points to Irish me. Irish eyes are smiling as he equalises four points all. And uh, me three. Don't know if he was trying to double there or cut back, but he didn't do well. Me seven, he's here to spoil the party. He's here to take a million pounds back to Ireland. Of course, it'll be useless over there. They need euros over there. He's got to break a sixth highest break of the night. Two, two more breaks in a row. Can he get 13 more points for a potentially a million pounds? Oh, I should have got that one. That was the easy, oh, has he got it? No, easiest shot of the, and then he'd been on the black. How exciting. Uh, still a break of six. A uh, strong, strong start from me seven, who is a fantastic player. Me three pots, two balls, look at that. That's the kind of shot we're looking for. Probably not the best tactic if he wants to ramp, ramp up as high a score as possible. He's going for the yellow. He's got a break of two. Oh, he's missed the yellow. Oh, he gets a break of two, but gives away four, and it's not looking good for me three so far. Kagly dink, kagly dink, me three, six. Me seven, 14, and me seven. By far the superior player so far. Well, that wasn't very good. Me three, only five reds on the table. And they've been smashed around. 
Here comes me seven. It's a very exciting evening. And he's messed up there, me seven. That was the first real mistake for me seven. Can me three capitalize on it? Of course he can. Look at that. Me three could get the highest break and be the champion. If he could just sort this out, he's not really left himself a red there. Not sure he can even hit a red. I don't think he can pop one, but he's got a break of eight. Highest break of the evening. Oh, very nearly gets another one. And it's even Stevens. 14 all, me seven. And can he do a trip double plant here? No. Me three. Two of the most popular players. Oh. Me seven. Yes, it worked for him. The plant beautifully executed. I think he's trying to double that pinky some way away from doing so. But me seven cracks into the lead. 15-14, I make it. Me three needs to win by 30 or 40 points, I'd say. And that'll help. That wasn't bad, was it? Can this pink go down? I don't think it can. He's going for it. No. But he may have got a snooker, and that's that's what he needs. It's 15 all. Me seven. Oh, he's not snookered at all. Oh, but he's he's got an unforced error there. Me three. And uh, suddenly finds himself in the lead. That's what he needs the win. That's his first job. Second job. To win by as many as possible. That's one. Break of one. He's going to have to whack this pink to get it in and get up for the... Red, I think he's just decided to take the points. It's not, it's not a bad tactic. A break of seven points. Uh, pretty much snooping himself with the pink. Can he just get by it? Yes, he can. Nice play from me three. Suddenly finding the right pace at the right time. Calculating, calculating, me three, 26. Me seven, calculating, 15. But me seven is not gonna let this go. And that could be snooker, it isn't, me three. Oh, that's the kind of confidence we wanted from him. Beautiful double. That's the kind of confidence we wanted from him. A lot of two ball breaks going in here, which is very impressive. No nerves. Can he somehow double this yellow into the center pocket or the top pocket? Oh. Break of six for me three. He's pulling ahead and he's got a snooker. Me seven. Gets out the snooker nicely. Nearly gets his own, not quite. Me three. Maybe you want to think of getting snookers just for the points. Oh! I did not see him pulling off that shot. Oh! Well, me three gets two. Gives away four, he's potted the green, but gone in off at the same time. And two fantastic shots from me, three. Absolutely fantastic, but unfortunately in off. So, me seven. The ball's not really lined up for a championship break here. Me seven's missed the green. Oh, and he's got a snooker. Me three, needs to be careful, and that's nicely done. Oh, and has he got a snooker? No. Me seven needs to watch out, doesn't want to pop the pink. And that's nicely, look at that. Oh, has it just come back a bit far? No, he's got the snooker. Me three. Oh, they're coming out, it's beautiful. Is he gonna pop that? Oh, me three. He hits that one a bit square. He's got the green. Calculating, calculating, me three, 37. Me seven, 19, so. There's uh, some gap between these two. Is it going to be enough? Oh, me seven's made a terrible mistake. That pink hovered over that pocket. And uh, he's potted it. And that could be, this could be the moment that me three starts to think that maybe it's on. Got to be careful not to pop the blue himself. Nicely done from me three. 
Uh, me seven now needs a snooker. Oh, he's going to pop the ping again. No, but he's he's actually potentially set up a break of 22 here. Can me three do it? No, he can't. He's missed the brown and he would have snookered on the blue if he'd done it. Me seven. Not sure what to do with that brown. Me three has to be careful. Oh, that's why. It, oh, good try. Me seven. Doesn't want to pop the brown, but doesn't really know what to do with it. Me three. Oh, that was absolutely crisp, clear. And there's a possible 22 break on here for me three. He's got the brown, he's got the blue. He sort of nudged the pink away from the pocket, but this could go in. Oh, crisp and clear and even. This is a million pound black ball, whichever way you look at it. He's won the frame, he's won it comfortably. He, I think you'll have to double this black into the bottom pocket. Oh, he hasn't done it. He hasn't done it. He gets a break of 9.14. A million pounds riding on that black. If he just got the black a little bit further at the table. But the good news for me three fans, 57 to 19, it's the kind of win me three needed. He's guaranteed second place. He's given himself a shot at, uh, what's that? How many, how many is that one? 38? No. 28? No. 20, 38. Yeah. 38 points plus 38. Imagine if he got that black. And that is the power of gay pride right there. That was some of the best some of the best snooker we've seen uh, in this tournament. And I hope that standard is going to be kept up for the, what is essentially the final now, not the, it's the final frame. It will decide who is the winner, me three or me two. And it's interesting that me one, two, me two and me three are going to be the top players. Look at that, Andy McCage is already there. That is very exciting. This is far from over, my friends. There is... 24, 33 points between these two players. If me 11 can beat me two by as many points as me three just beat me seven, we have just seen our European Super League of Self-Playing Snooker champion. And me two has got to be nervous about this now. That is very, very, very exciting. Um, well done to Irish me. Come in, uh, I mean, possibly seventh, actually, so not that well done, if me 11 can win. Oh, what do you think, commentator two? What do you think about all that? It was good. It was actually quite a good game. You, you enjoyed it? Yeah. I'd go, you know, there's 129 people tuned in for this final. <coughs> Fucking hell. After all these weeks, Richard, you know, look, I don't like him. I don't like what he's doing. After all these weeks and months and year and a half of entertaining you motherfuckers and 120, I'm not having to go, you guys who are here, 129 of you shot for the final. You should be ashamed of yourselves, not the people who are watching, but everyone who isn't. You motherfuckers. Well, strong words there from commentator two that I don't necessarily agree with. Back to Richard in the studio. Well, that has certainly put the, well, that was so fast as well. What an amazing frame. Uh, and we've got a competition on our hands. I'm very excited about this. Me too is going to be nervous. He, th I think all week he's been strutting around like he's already got his name on the trophy. If he doesn't win this, all he has to do is draw. That's he could be play If I was him, I'd play for a draw. If he gets a tie. Let's talk to the players. Let's first of all talk to uh, me. Seven came in fairly confident, but you know, also just nicely modest, very kind about the other players. Could have ended up in the top four or five. Has ended up maybe sixth or seventh. How are you feeling? Which is, seems a shame. He's a good player. How are you feeling, uh, me? Seven. Well, to be sure, Richard, it was a long journey over from Ireland. I came over the Irish Sea to England. 
and up over the English Sea as well to get here. I probably came over the Welsh Sea to get here in Wales. And, um, uh, and you know, I, I hope to do better. I thought I started well. I got a few two-ball breaks. I thought, oh, we're, we're getting somewhere here. But me three, he had his eye on the prize. It was like a big hairy man's anus looming ahead of him. And he thought, I've got to get that. And you can't blame him for that. Um, well, being a bit homophobic there, me seven from my taste, but also slightly too Welsh. Um, so, uh, well, lovely to have you in the, the tournament. I should have said goodbye to more players last week because, of course, that was the last uh, frames for other people who played last week. Um, thank you so much for everything you've done. I'm sorry it hasn't worked out for you this time. And maybe the next, if there is another year, if we get the sponsorship money, still no sign of Ian Jurex. He's leaving it very late. But so that is, you know, that's the whole point of Ian Jurex, isn't it? You can come at the last minute. That is Jurex. You can come at the last minute. No problem. <laughs> This punk will be covered in the little uh, nodule bit at the end. No problem. Um, no sweat. I'm sorry, I'm mixing up my shows. Um, me, Seven, what a lovely guy. Apart from the homophobia, I apologise for that. Um, I have no control over what the Mies will say. Let's talk to Me3. Uh, we may be talking to him again at the end of the tournament. We, we almost certainly, if that black had found its way I mean hey if it had found its way in we'd be looking at a 45 point win and that could really have done it um but uh, also a million pounds there on that black how did you feel when that black didn't go down Richard look I came here to win I came here to win by 30 or 40 points I've won by 38 points yeah sure could have been 45 could have been 100 if I had if I'd played even better but um I think I've done enough to at least give myself a reasonable chance of victory here. And I don't think anyone would have predicted that. I've only lost two frames, I think, in the whole of the seven, which is extraordinary. Um, I've proved people out there who think that gay people can't play snooker proved you wrong. I've proved people out there who think gay people shouldn't be involved in what they consider a heterosexual sport wrong. Um... No, I'm just glad to be here. If I win the whole shebang, great. A million pounds will come. Very useful. What we spend it spend that on? Well, probably dildos and lube. What a million pounds worth? Condoms. I mean, they'll probably give you some condoms. They're the sponsors. Sure. Well, good luck. I hope you. I mean, a million pounds of lube. It'll keep you going. Not the way I get through cockroach. It won't. All right, well, me three, very relaxed there. And it's quite a character change for him as well. Just the last minute there. So um, let's get on to the main event. As referee one probably can see him behind me setting up the the old snooker board. This is uh, an amazing tussle. Me two versus me 11. Me 11, we hoped would do better in this tournament. She's a fan favourite. She's done so well in the last few tournaments, getting in the semi-finals three times. She's not in the semi-finals this time. By any stretch of the imagination, she's playing to not come seventh. Um, she's been unlucky, I have to say. A lot of very, very close frames. Um, though, yeah, only 13 points. Me one beat her by 13 points. Uh, me two. Me one and me two at the end, she had to play. Uh, me three beat her by 20 points. Not that big a differential for two. those are the very good players. Me 11 beat her by five points. Sorry, not me 11. She won that one. No, she lost. Me 10 beat her by 5 points. Me 10, of course, the Welsh. Me, very good player. Only 5 points. Uh, me 7 beat her by 2 points. And uh, she beat me 31. Not surprisingly. Is that the only one she's won? Fuck it. No, no. She must have won another one. Must have won another one. Must have done. Uh, oh, she... No, she lost the film blind. I mean, what, a, what a shit house time she's had. Um, and me too, of course... Champion elect, but it's not over yet. Let's talk to me too, first of all. How are you feeling? Well, I'm still confident, um, Richard. It's, um, look, I knew it was possible that uh, the goal difference would get a bit closer. I've still got to lose by a lot of points. Uh, I'm pretty confident I'm going to win. I've been winning fairly consistently throughout this tournament. Um, I know you're trying to make it more exciting for the, the little kitty winks watching. Uh, oh, maybe me too won't win. Um, but it's in the bag. 
the old snooker bag and uh, I'm playing for the COVID kids um, in the kids hospitals around the country and the world um, I'm playing for all all the people who decided not to settle down to stay true to themselves uh, and be individuals rather than locked in a relationship of any kind with a man, woman whatever, animal, whatever that fly now on my actually looking quite good I can see why people want to have sex with animals now I'm looking at that fly, it's quite sexy um, look, I don't want to talk too much I'm going to let my snooker do the talking that's what I always say and uh, I'm confident I'll win I might play for the draw um, am I going to lose by 33 points whatever it is, no no not in a million years, not against a girl. Let himself down a bit at the end. Um, they all seem to be doing. Uh, we've got beautiful Mia Levin in. Uh, I, you know, she has had an unlucky tournament, but maybe she can be the one to make the decisive frame. If she wins this, not only does she shoot up the table, um, Jurex, you can shoot up the table, no problem. Um, she also uh, will stop Me Too from victory if she can win by many, many points. So, how are you feeling, Mia Levin? She's just sitting down now on her derriere. Uh, I'm feeling good, Richard. I am here to win. I feel I have been lucky. I feel my goal difference shows that. Um, sure, lost a few frames, but only just. And, uh, you know, if I win by a few points tonight then that helps my cause doesn't it as well I, I don't want to come in the bottom two I don't know what how many players are relegated I don't even know if we're doing this again this particular league format it seems to have been unpopular uh, and the sponsors seem to not really have paid up for uh, any of the for what I think what I would actually consider fantastic advertising from you Richard I don't uh, give you many compliments I feel you're a sleazy unpleasant man um, but uh, from my own personal experience but, um, you know, you've done well with the Jurex based slogans, I have to say. Thank you, Me11. Um, Beats International says, surely wearing a Jurex would stop you shooting up the table. No, it means you can shoot up the table. In my metaphor, the table was the vagina, anus or mouth or your own hand. Uh, and you can shoot up it without worrying because the the semen will be caught in their little there's a little nodule at the end it's a, it's a wonderful design i'm still going to back them um i've enjoyed it too uh, s uh slow motion atomic bomb uh, and uh, no it's been great thank you for you know when you think 130 people are watching this you have to think that's some kind of amazing achievement where are all the ones from lockdown though where are they so you've got to ask yourself, can you win this, me 11? Of course I can, Richard. I can easily win it. Do you want the eye up or the eye down? Or do you want it to, if it lands on the fly and knocks it out, it's right on the keyboard. Um, I would like the eye up. Everyone goes for eye up. It doesn't, it only comes up 50% of the time. And it hasn't come up this time, me 11. I think you may be going first. Uh, what, what, do you th what do you think? Uh, me too. Yep, she's welcome to break. Thank you, Richard. Me too. Hands that terrible decision over to... Uh, me one, me two. Over to uh, me eleven, and gallantly I would say, uh, let's get over to commentator one, commentator two. I'm sure the game's ready to go. This is it, guys. This is what we've been waiting for for the last three to four months. Yeah, thank you, Richard. Back at the uh, Princess Lala Malika of Mar Mar Morocco Arena. Unfortunately, referee one was called into the referee's room uh, just to be congratulated on how excellently refereed during that frame. Uh, but he has, he's just coming out now to set at the table. It does give us a rare opportunity to see a professional in action. You don't, this is not something you usually see in snooker. See how he does it. He, what he does, he takes the balls out of the pockets, puts them in the triangle. If they're a colour, he puts them on the spot. He seems to know, nearly always remember where those go. He, I like the way he rolls the balls up the table if they're at the wrong end. He rolls them up. And then comes back to them, looks at them again later. Very sweet. Sometimes he tries to throw a red ball straight into the triangle. He's done that today. One of them went in, one of them missed. Making his own little games up. And that's why I like the referee one. He's better than referee two, who deserved to be shot into that. Whatever it was that happened to him. Um, here we go. Just He's just getting the... Has, still hasn't found the proper triangle, but he's still getting this together. Beautifully done. 
a beautiful fi beautiful final triangle, presuming there's no uh, this no reason to restart. God, I hope not. Let's see how we can go. Me eleven. Can she be the saviour of me three? Will me two? A divisive figure, me too. Me eleven is well loved by all. She hasn't gone in off. She's potted the fucking black. And that's the worst possible start. She's actually got the cue ball right down the table, done very well. But uh, me too hasn't stepped up to the hockey yet and finds himself seven points to the good. And that has to be a sign of something. Oh, well, that was extraordinary. It was an extraordinary shot. It nearly, it, it didn't jingle jangle in the table, or in the, in the pocket. The ball leapt out of the pocket and rolled along the cushion, fell off the table. It's four points back to me, me 11. You'd think you'd get more for such a terrible, terrible thing happening, but almost supernatural, almost like Sam Beckett was there from the future to make that happen. Me 11. Oh, this is already one of the most exciting frames we've ever seen. Just misses, just hits the post there. Me too. He's whacked that one in and that one has not jumped off the table. That one has gone in. And, uh, oh, nice play from me. Me too. Gaggling, gaggling. Me too. Eight. Me 11. Four. He's put the cue ball. It's really p pissing down with rain as well. This is very exciting. <laughs> me 11. She's just whacked it. Oh, she's gone in off. The early advantage has gone. Uh, actually, no, it was, it, was, it was the early advantage was to me too. And me too has 12 points. 11 of them have come from mistakes by me 11. He has a good shot at trying to get the cute, uh, red ball in, fails. Me 11. Oh, not a bad, not a bad effort either. Me too. Just not quite going his way. Two balls jingled or jangled there. Me 11, can she do an amazing plant? No. Can she set up me too? Probably. Nicely done from me too. Just the gentlest of nudges. So he's on for the pink and then maybe on for another red. Oh, he's missed it. He's hit the post. I think he was thinking of the million pounds there, picking up two million pounds maybe. It doesn't look to me like Me Too is going to give up. Oh, Me 11 tries a very difficult shot, but hits it too lightly. Me Too. He's trying to get down for a snooker, but he's failed and he's actually set up Me 11. Would be lovely if Me 11 were to win a million pounds. I didn't ask her what she'd spend it on makeup, I expect. Ah, oh, she's not quite on form today. She's bumped up to five points. That's her first. Listen, that rain, my goodness. Me too. Oh, how did he miss that? Me three. Oh. That wasn't such a good shot. Sorry, not me three, me 11. Uh, they look similar to me. Me too. He's potted another red. Can he get the green? No. Oh, can he? No. Oh, can he? Yes, he can. Look at that. What an incredible shot. Back, careered off two different balls to go into the top pocket when it looked like he was aiming for the bottom pocket. Break of four. Can he make it five? No. But uh, looking good. He doesn't even have to win. He just has to not lose by a lot. Can me 11 pull something out of the bag? There's a, a break of one. Can she make it more than one? She's looking at the black. It's a tricky shot, but it's possible. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought it was in. She moves up to six. Calculating, calculating. Me, two, 17. Me, 11, six. Me too. On the brink of history, on the doorstep of history. He's missed another one. Jingled and jangled again. Me 11. Try
tries another plant, doesn't work out. Me too. This could go in. Oh, he doesn't miss many like that. He's going for the black. Oh, and this could be it. This could be the tournament. This could be the highest break. He's got the black. He's got a break of eight. He's on an easy red. He's, is he on the black again? It's going to be hard. He's trying to double it. He's gone in off. Very nearly gets that black in. So we got a break of nine. Taking him up to, I think, 28. But gives away seven. I think it's 28-13. Oh, 26-13 says, which might be right. I'll take, I'll take uh, Andy McH's score. 26. Me, 11. The black is right over the pocket. She could get a huge break here, win, win a million pounds and see off. Ah, oh, she just missed the red. It was a hard red, to be fair. Me, two, now has the opportunity. He's potted that red. He's on the easy black. And uh, I think there's some people on the snooker board. They think it's all over for another break of eight. One more red on the board. Going for a double, misses it by a mile. Me too. Finds himself on 34 points, playing 13. Me 11, she can get some snookers. She doesn't just need to win, she needs to thrash me too here. Oh, and me too is in incredible form. That was, I thought that was an impossible shot. I didn't know what he was doing and he got it in. He's got the blue, he's on the yellow. This is absolute, this is the champion. This is not the people's champion. Oh, how did he miss that fucker? He's got the green and everything. Oh, break of six. Calculating, calculating, me two, 40, me 11, 13. And unless something extraordinary happens here, me 11, I mean, is she foolish to try and pop these? She's too far behind, isn't she? Oh, nearly goes in off. But has she got a snooker? She gets two points. She's up to 15. She's 35 points behind. She should be going for uh, snookers. Me too. Oh, he misses an easy green. Me 11, snookered on the, bra on the green. But she'll get out of that nicely, gets out of it. Hits it nice and firmly and maybe got a snooker of her own. Yep. Could this be the moment? Oh, me too, Mrs. and hits the pink. Could that be the moment? It was all she needed, actually. It's 40 plays, 21. There's 19 points now between them. Me, 11, misses the green. Me too, goes in off, off the green. Is this it? Me 11 still would need to do something extraordinary in order to prevent Me Too from winning the tournament, but she could win this frame. Look at that, what a shot. That's her shot of the tournament. I think she pots the green. Can she double this brown in? Nearly. <sighs> 40 plays 28. 12 points in it, 22 points on the board and Pretty much a snooker again. Me too. Miles off. He's gone in off. Missed it by a mile. The nerves are getting to him. I still can't see me 11 winning by enough points, but oh, that jumped out of the pocket. Didn't go sliding down the table, but uh, off the table, but uh, me too. He's just snatching at it. Camille 11 could get a break of 22 here and win a million pounds. I think that's what she's got to focus on. Me too. Could do the same, of course. He doesn't, not playing one out. Is that a snooker? No, me 11. 
Is that a snooker? That's a great snooker. Two ball snooker with the black ball in the way. Me too. Oh, he's missed. Only just, it's four points to me, 11. And actually, this is interesting because the brown ball is out of play really here. So anything counts as the brown, he's going for the blue. She's going for the blue rubber. And that was quite clever, she missed it. But more or less another snooker. Me too. He's hit the black, he's potted the black. Everything's falling apart for him. Surely this couldn't be, he's actually behind. With 22 points on the table. Shush, Shiri. It's calculating, calculating. Me, two, 40. Me, three, two, sorry, me, two, 40. Calculating, me, 11, 43. Whoa. Me, 11 to play. Oh, what a pot. What an incredible pot that was. Another fantastic shot from me, 11. She'll have to do an amazing shot to get this blue in. She's done it. Needs to go a bit further, the pink. Can she win this frame and get the million pounds? Can she somehow double this pink in? Fuck. And this is the easiest black we've had. It's not easy, but it could be a break of 22 to end the tournament. Oh. Oh, what a finale that would have been. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it might matter actually. Nine, had same thing in it, fit break of 15. I mean, she's won by 18. She would have won by 25 if she got that. It wouldn't have quite been enough, but my goodness, it would have taken us close. Uh, the final score, calculating, calculating, me to 40, me 11, 58, 40 plays 58. <sighs> plus 20, sorry, plus 18. For me 11, me too, doesn't end on a victory, looked like certain that he would. Absolutely incredible. Imagine if that black had gone down. I think everyone would have gone down on me 11. Fucking hell. I mean, you can say all you like about other sports, but nothing can compete with the tension of this Rain pounding on the roof. That just the the scintilla. It's like the world, the European Cup final. There it is. There's the final scores confirmed. Even if that black had gone down, we'd have been talking about uh, plus 84. It would have been still just a victory, just on goal difference. Um, the beautiful news is me, 11, leaps up into seventh place. Only serious me. Again, it wouldn't have made any difference, even if she got the seven. She would have got a million pounds. That would have been quite good. Um, well, that's how it ends up. Just drink it in, people. Drink in that board. Me too has won. He's lost today, but he's won overall. By the, only by the slimmest of margins. Just 15 points, just a couple of blacks, a black, or what it could be a red and a black and a red, and a nine, and a black. Is that it? Yeah, probably. Not that many people scored that much. Um, well, you know, I'm quite emotional. I don't know how you're feeling, commentator, too. I'm, not, I'm feeling nothing. Look at it, that's it, that's the board, and the winner is me too, even though the winner of that frame, an incredible play. She's won three frames, so she must have won another one that I missed. Um, unless we messed up the whole table, we have to start again. Um, back to you, Richard. It's been an absolute honor to work with you, my friend, uh, and with you, commentator too. I know you haven't really participated much in this. Uh, Andy McH clear that uh, that me 11 won three frames. And um, back to you, Richard. Well done, mate, for putting all this together. I know you don't do much of the actual work, but uh, I know it's gone up to 145 viewers. That's how exciting that final frame was. Well, it's all over. 
they there are people on the board. They think it's all over, and it is. No, there aren't any people on that actually. Um, there's a cat there, and there's not even a cat. It, it, people are thinking it's all over. It is all over. Uh, Me too. Has uh, as many of you, I think, would have thought one, but how close was that, and how exciting was that, and how unlikely was all of that? Um, just waiting for Ian Jerks to turn up with the the giant checks and the cup and stuff. Um, but uh, let's talk to Me Eleven. Uh, nice for her to end on such a strong. There must be mixed feelings there, though. Me eleven with that, what, that break that could have been a million pound break. Richard, I choked tonight. It was it was the best chance of getting twenty. I, I did the difficult shots, uh, and then admittedly a long black, a difficult. Uh, but I just I pulled at it, and it just didn't work out for me. And yeah, of course I'm going to lie in bed tonight and think I could have had be lying here with a million pounds. What would you have spent it on? The commentators uh, thought it might be uh, makeup and stuff. I would have spent it on um, the poor children. So, wow, I, d I doubt uh, Sam Beckett me will do that. Um, presumably, that's why Sam Beckett came back this time was to ensure uh, that Geordie Me Thirty One got the highest break. But um, you know why he had to come back for every frame once he'd done that? I suppose, or well, you know why he didn't get a slightly higher break. Um, but anyway, uh, look, me eleven. It's been wonderful to have you. You've done really well for a girl. And um, uh, Richard, I've done very well in the last three tournaments. Uh, the reason I'm in this final eight is because I'm I'm probably the most consistent player in this whole thing. Sure, yeah, I lost a few frames, but only by a little bit. And uh, I am I think I'm the best player in this whole experience. And uh, I intend to come back and come back stronger. Could use that for a Jurex um, slogan. You come back, come back st stronger. Don't worry about spunk because it can't get through the pause. Don't ruin what I'm saying by talking about spunk. It's what I'm saying is good. Look, any women out there, any young girls out there, yes, you can play snooker. Yes, you can compete on the level playing field with the boys. You can compete and you can beat them. I've just beaten the champion of this whole league. What does that make me? The champion of this whole league, I would say. So, you know, well done to me too. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, you know, I wish just a couple of the other... If just a couple of the other frames had gone slightly differently, we could be... It could be different. could be a different result. Well, that's true of Aaron. And if a couple of the frames had gone a different way, if someone else, anyone could have won. A stupid thing to say. Uh, let's meet him. Here he is. He's uh, the loser of the frame, but uh, and usually we talk to the loser of the frame first, but he's the winner of the league. Uh, how are you feeling, me too? Vindicated. Uh, I know a lot of people said I shouldn't be in this tournament because I'd, I'd done badly in all the other tournaments. Um, they said it was just nepotism and uh, money that got me through this. But no, look, I um, play me one on a regular basis. haven't done it so much recently, but I'm ahead, I believe, in that competition. I've won the Chris Evans Trophy many, many times. Um, admittedly, just against me one usually, but me one was the elite champion until now. I think he can't really call himself the elite champion now I've won this. Um, look, that frame, I was up by loads of points. I was on 40 points, and then I stayed on 40 points, and me... 11 just came back bang 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 and I've got much respect for it and yeah I agree with it girls you there's no reason why women can't play snooker as well as men it's just you just need arms and uh, probably not even that probably can have no arms and still play it probably need legs but you could put sit on a stool something there must be or just have some false legs put on anyone can play and anyone can win and I'm the example of that because I've come from nothing I'm not you know, from money like me one. I'm not from a happy home like me one. I'm from a broken home. Um, just me on my own. I broke it. And I've won. And I've done it for the normal kids in the, you know, out there in the hospitals. I've done it for all the people who, you know, who, uh, when the personality of the person they're in is broken down, they're seen as the bad guy. They're seen as the negative thing. I'm positive. I'm better than me one. I've proved that I'm better than all of the me's. And I've won. And I'm looking forward to spending the million pounds. I'm going to spend it all on pause and cocaine. 
and I'm not going to wear a condom when I win it. And I'm going to laugh at Ian Jurex and tell him that. Well, the, the message at the end there wasn't what we wanted. I hope that won't um, hope that won't uh, affect the sponsorship um, or the standings. I hope that won't lead to two points deducted for whatever. Um, Look, uh, let's talk to Me31. He's got the highest break uh, and won a million pounds. How are you feeling, Me31? Why, I'm man, well, you know, I don't... I, all I remember is the one frame that I played, which I didn't score the maximum break in. You know, I got some good breaks, apparently, when I was being controlled by Sam Beckett from off of Quantum Leap. But, uh, you know, it does. it feels wrong taking the money, man. Sure. Yeah, um, but you're, nevertheless, the money is yours. We haven't yet, the check hasn't yet turned up, but um, that will be in the post, so congratulations. Do you think that was what Sam Beckett's mission was? Why, I well, I suppose it must have been, like... Is he going to turn up now? Why, I well, you know, I don't know. What if he turns up and takes the, the money and goes back to the future with it, like uh, Marty McFly, man? Well, it would be good if he did turn up, because he just does my voice, and it's kind of better. Why, I, yeah. Mm. Yes. Well, there is me, 31, highest break of 18, a very impressive break. Also, second highest break of 17. A um, few people came close today. Me, 11, so close. So unlucky. Um, let's talk again to me, too. He is the winner. How you, how, um, do you want your... Uh, we haven't got the money or anything and uh, we've got a pointless trophy i can give you i'll take the pointless trophy rich that's great okay well here's the uh pointless trophy that uh you win for top in the league uh bad luck to uh, gay me three i have to say are just beaten by just such a small margin those two players both came out with five, five wins out of seven incredible performance from both of them um i'd like to hand this over to you if that's all right me too yeah, thank you, Richard. Oh, no, what am I doing? I'm me. Yes, thank you, Richard. Um, look, I hope I, I haven't offended anyone. Do wear condoms if that's your thing. It just makes the experience much, much worse for me. Um, and, uh, you know, it dulls everything, doesn't it? And I don't... Uh, that's not a problem for me, though. No, I'm not a, a, a rapid ejaculator. So, um... Uh... Yeah, look, it's been great. I've really enjoyed it, and, um... Back to me one versus me two, I guess, next week. And uh, let's see if I can keep up the winning streak, although I lost today with that. Um, well done to everyone. Well, bad luck to me three, I have to say. Uh, he ran me very close there at the end and made it a very exciting final day of the tournament. But mainly I'd like to thank you at home for watching and being with me through lockdown. Um, I know you had my back. And, um, you know, it was a beautiful time, wasn't it? Maybe it's time for the tournaments to, to end now we're back in the normal world again until you know the next pandemic well some sad words there for him. he wouldn't seem very happy that he'd won but um it's he, he has a difficult life uh it's nice to see him dressed up for the final day as well that's the final that's it ladies and gentlemen um uh you know i don't know if we'll do a panini sticker album of this one it's not in the other the uh, panini sticker album doesn't have this one in obviously because it was printed last year but um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I, uh, Twitch of Fun is on Thursday nights now. So that's coming back most weeks. I think should be on this week. Um, remember, if you have birthdays, do send them in. And uh, yeah, Rehalastapa's going pretty well. Come down and see one of those. And we'll, probably, we'll, try, and, we'll try and keep up with the uh, snooker. Uh, and do it live. Me one versus me two. Back to the proper competition. Can't even remember where it is. Um, thanks, everyone. Thanks for your Twitch uh, uh, subs. Um, those are, will still be available throughout. We will still be doing stuff on Twitch, and uh, we'll see you from so from me and all the me's. Thank you for your fine support of this wonderful endeavour. And it's not embarrassing and stupid. Goodbye. <laughs>